Welcome to part 5 of the GUTFT tutorial series. If you're new to this series, be sure to check out the first four parts. The links for these videos are in the description below. In this video, we will be using Noritake's GTO tool with a GUTFT module. GTO tool is short for GUTFT operator tool, and this tool allows you to create a custom screen design and send that design to a GUTFT module. So the first step in this tutorial is to download the GTO tool from the Noritake website. Open up an internet browser. Type in noritakealec.com. Once you're at the home page, mouse over support and go over to tools. You can see that GTO tools, the first result, Let's click on GTO tool. Once you're at the GTO tool page, click on download. Once the download's complete, let's navigate to your downloads folder. Right click and extract all. We'll open the GTO tool setup folder. And for GTO, there's no application set up. It's just a standalone application. In terms of the driver, you do need to install a USB driver for the GUTFT. Instructions on installing the GUTFT driver are located in the description below. Now once your driver is installed, let's plug in the GUTFT to your computer via USB. And then we can launch the GTO tool and hit run if a security warning pops up. And here is the GTO tool, otherwise known as GUTFT operator. The first thing we're going to do in this tool is to connect our TFT to the application. Now I'm using a virtual COM port, virtual COM port of two, so I'll click on COM2. Once it pops up here, it's been connected. Now I will create an example of design using a box, text, and a custom switch over the box. So let's click on box and create a box on the screen. Make the outline uh, green. You can see the box is right there. Let's fill this box with green. So we can see it on the display. And I'll hit preview be able to see the green box on the TFT. Now let's go to user window and create the user window box over the green box. We can make it black text. I'll write touch. Okay. I'll center or touch a little bit. There we go. We'll preview this as well. I'll add a switch over the box, like so. Make it a light green switch box. You can see it's a little slightly tinted because that switch box is over the green box. I'm going to make sure that it's labeled as a custom switch on channel 0. We can preview this. You can see that the display actually hasn't changed, but now we have a touch switch on the display so I can read touch. As I touch it, touch, 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 you get the touch data coming back from the module. So if I touch outside, There's no data coming back because I'm not touching inside of the touch switch. So that about wraps it up for the GTO tool in this video. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for quick updates on future uploads. Thanks for watching.